Welcome to today's video. Today we're doing a review of the Rafa Pro Bib Shorts 2. But before we do, think about hitting the subscription button and let's run the intro. So, the Rafa Pro Bib Shorts 2. Let's see what the website says about it. Worn by riders of EF Education First Pro Cycling, the Pro Team Bib Shorts are the ultimate in comfort and performance. Comfortable enough to be worn every day for training and racing. These shorts are also durable enough to withstand the chaos of the Pro Peloton. From the punishing cobbled roads of the classics to the high summit finishes of the great Grand Tours. I'll give Rafa something, they know how to uh, put a little bit of spin on their marketing. Our dual density Pro Team chamois pad provides comfort and support with minimal bulk. The pad is size specific for a perfectly tailored fit, no one size fits all here. The main fabric is lightweight, fast wicking with excellent compression and support. Extra wide, direct applied silicon leg grippers keep the shorts in place comfortably with a sleek, low profile finish. Breathable uppers provide su superb stretch and support while low profile bonded edges barely show beneath close fitting race jerseys. Two radio pockets, because you never know when one radio is enough, do you? Two radio pockets are positioned on the lower back offset to avoid discomfort against the spine. Two leg lengths offer the perfect fit and look come race day. Well, that's what Rafa says. What do I say? Well, here they are. And I have to admit, they are a really, really nice pair of shorts. Starting up at the top, the straps are nice and wide. Very comfortable on. The two radio pockets, do you know, I get this. There's a lot of high-end bib shorts these days that come with radio pockets. Now, I don't know about you, maybe I'm just living in cloud cuckoo land, but if I was a pro rider, or if I was, no, if I was a rider at a level that required a radio, I'm pretty sure I'd be getting team kit. You don't buy team kit from the shop. It's made for you. Maybe I'm wrong. If I am, drop me a comment. Anyway, two radio pockets. Name and number, just in case you get confused as your shorts. Um, the legs, as it said in the description on the website, there are two lengths, long and regular. Now I've gone for regular. Um, the gripper, now, this is certainly a very interesting I don't know if you'll be able to see this on camera, okay? But this leg gripper. So it's about two inches wide and is a very interesting formation of dots. 
hundreds and hundreds of little dots of silicon. I have to say, I've been out riding with these. Um, I've only been out twice so far, but the legs stay in place. Although I'd expect that with a pair of shorts that cost this amount of money. The pad is what you'd expect. It is very comfortable. It has padding in all the places that you need it to have padding. But it doesn't feel super bulky. I've had some shorts on in the past where you put them on and you think, oh my goodness, if I get off this bike, everyone's going to be staring at my big fat ass thinking, why is he walking like a duck? And it's all because the pad is just too big. This, I think, is a really good pad. In terms of the legs and the rest of the construction, there's nothing fancy. You know, no, no strange little chevrons or little dimples like you might see on shorts like uh, Calas or, uh, or Castelli. It's just a plain leg. Little flashes of, uh, of uh, reflective material. As they say, these shorts can be worn every day. They're not just for racing. If you want to wear a pair of Rafa shorts to just go out riding or commuting, then feel free. Um, pretty expensive way to dress yourself if you want to go racing, uh, uh, sorry, commuting, but you know. There's not much more I can say about these shorts. They are very comfortable on. I think the fitting is great. In terms of fitting, so um, I've gone for a large pair of shorts. I am 5 foot 10, uh, currently weighing 80 kilos. Hence the work with the nutritionist. Um, 32 inch waist, uh, 5 foot 10, you know, standard build I would say. And um, large fits me very, very well. Um, they're not too tight um, in terms of the straps across the shoulders because you're pulling them up too long because your body's too long. And um, regular gives me a good portion just sort of three quarters of the way down the, the quad. So yeah, pretty good. I'd have to give uh, them a thumbs up. Now the only thing I will say, and um, if you don't know this already, then you've probably been living under a rock. Rafa shorts, Rafa equipment is expensive. Um, I bought these in the sale, as do many other people I know, wait for the Rafa sale because then it sort of brings them into line with more uh, reasonable, well, reasonable prices. These are normally £195. Um, I think the sale brought them down to £145, which is comparable with other high-end brands like Castal Castelli or Calas. Um, it's still an expensive, it's still a, an expensive amount to spend on a pair of bibs. However, they are very, very comfortable. So I have to give them a thumbs up. So there we go. That's it for today's video. If you've enjoyed it, as ever, drop me a thumbs up. I do appreciate the support. Hit that like button, tickle it, smash it, you know the score. Subscribe to the channel, use the notification bell to make sure you know when new videos go live. Take care of each other, keep those hands clean, look out for yourself, and I'll see you soon. Right on. Zoom.